Welcome to At Issue in Brief. I'm H. Wayne Wilson at the National Weather Service in Lincoln, Illinois. When wind farms were first proposed, there was a lot of discussion about the impact it would have on the environment and the migration of birds. But one issue that wasn't discussed at length was the impact it would have on predicting the weather. And that's particularly true for this weather service because of the wind farm that's located at the border of Logan and Tazewell counties. We had theorized that there would be some uh, reflections from the, from the uh, wind turbines and uh, when they actually started an operation then that's when we saw the, the scope of the situation. You zoom in on there you can really see um, the intensity of those. Uh, that is where uh, we are getting the reflection off the wind farm. The, the radar can cancel out non-moving objects, such as trees or buildings or things that are in the area. Uh, when you've got a moving object, though, uh, the radar cannot cancel that out. We are working with our radar operations center in Oklahoma and the University of Oklahoma to try to create some uh, software fix for our radar that can try to cancel out moving objects. And that's a very difficult problem because we have to know everything about the object that's moving and exactly how fast it's moving at all times to be able to cancel that out. What's interesting on wind and solar now is costs. Costs have dropped 60% since 2009, and we see another nearly 40% reduction over the next 10 years. And the reason why we are seeing a reduction in cost going forward, particularly in wind, is simply has to do with the larger size of the turbines. Bigger blades, bigger turbines can produce at maximum power on a much lower wind speed. Crews working for NL Green Power spent much of the morning inspecting and later lifting up the 113-foot-long wind turbine blade that broke free yesterday off Boulier Road in Fenner. The town of Fenner is working with the company to try to learn more about what caused the blade to break free, but due to the windmill's remote location, they don't see any danger to the public at this time. By design, windmills are placed in fields hundreds of yards away from roads. There are 20 windmills in Fenner that generate electricity, when the wind farm opened in 2001, it was the largest on the East Coast. For now, reporting from Fenner in Madison County, I'm Alex Dunbar. And the reason why we are seeing a reduction in cost going forward, particularly in wind, is simply has to do with the larger size of the turbines. Bigger blades, bigger turbines can produce at maximum power on a much lower wind speed.